she was elected to the New York State Senate, effectively taking down the IBC. Alessandra Vitagaji is here with us tonight. Yeah! Run for office. 
But it was a long, drawn out journey because as many women decide they're gonna run, they're told no. I was told no probably a hundred times, I'm not even kidding, by my male mentors who got me to the point where I was. I'm also a lawyer, so they were the ones who were saying by my mailman. And no. I was like, that's all no. no. you're over no. here, mentor. No. No. Just give me the mail. because what it made me feel like was like as if I was wrong, right? Yeah. Like you're bad for doing this. But I knew I wasn't because the person I was gonna run against had blocked all this legislation and he was making himself the most important person in New York State. There are 20 million people in New York State. One person is not the king of this whole state. And so that was a hard decision, but honestly, the moment from basically being off, being on the side of the cliff to jumping off was the most exhilarating. And I would do it again a thousand times. Hell yeah. <laughs>
We had small dollar donations from 48 out of the 50 states. I'm still searching for somebody in North Dakota. I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and it was honestly all about the local level. And the way it starts is literally, you, it starts in someone's living room, right? You say like, hey, do you know that our, Demo our, our senator is actually not a Democrat? No, I didn't know that. And before you know it, it groundswells. And we caught the wave of Trump. I never, don't like to say his name, but we literally did. And people were like, wait, what's going on at the local level? And because of the fact that at the federal level, it just feels so overwhelming that you feel like you're, you're kind of like stymied. There's nothing you can do. But what you can do at the local level is you can organize. You can register people to vote. We registered hundreds of young people to vote. And what I'm, I am like so intent on doing, yes, I'm going to every single high school in my district, and I am going to make sure that every 18-year-old is registered to vote in District 34. <laughs> Responsibility. Well, we'll be watching you. Oh, <laughs>